Oh man, okay you guys, so I am exploring with this thing. Do not judge me. I'm trying my best. This is the first time I'm using this camera. And I am not the greatest with technology, but by God's grace and by God's mercy, we will get this video done, okay? Let me go put my robe on real quick. So this is just gonna have to be a moment of faith. What is good, you guys? Um, Welcome to the next Dancing With God episode. I'm not exactly sure which episode this is going to be. But I do know that um this is definitely going to be a Dancing With God episode. And you know, I tried um to make sure like five times with the guy at Best Buy that this was the camera that had the flip screen. Wow, it feels like, I just feel like a real YouTuber now. It's so crazy. But um, somehow the five times that I asked, he misunderstood me. But it's okay. It's it's all right. It's all right. We'll live. I'm making real content for y'all now. It's it's really crazy. All all things to God. I just want to say, I think the title of this video might be um, breaking the spirit of legalism. I feel like this is the first video that I'm making in my promised land, in my true calling, you guys. Um, hey you guys so this is editing me i just wanted to let you know i think legalism being broken is a big part of god preparing for his yeah, jesus so is coming back i feel like this is yeah the first video i'm not saying the holy spirit has never spoken other videos saying that um this feels like you know my first real youtube video this you guys i have a little list here that i want to make um that i video is going to be very specific but the reason i'm saying that this video is going to be called breaking the spirit of legalism is because for the first time in my life i am just like walking by my relationship with god and i am not allowing like the world or anything to influence that um i just feel like free in my relationship with god <laughs> So thank you, thank you Lord. Um, I prayed prior to this video, but um, I, I always do. And um, well, I always try to just be like here with you guys before you know, I start a video. But yeah, so I'm just basically gonna go down this list um, as I roll. And um, yeah. I'm so thankful that God is bringing all the right people in to watch this video and that we are just family like welcome welcome to my channel um this is all for glory to God and you know showing the wonders that God is working in life thank the Lord that no legalistic spirit is welcome here my God thank you hallelujah yeah I'm gonna go ahead and roll the herbs are the healing of the nation um, everything in God's perfect timing. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's get right into this. The first thing um, I want to touch is that this journey was not easy for me. Okay. Um, and I want to, I just want to send like kind of an apology if, but I also want to send a thank you note to anyone that has bared with me through my spiritual um, journey. I'm finally in the promise thing, you guys, and I'm so thankful. God is, have you ever been telling someone your testimony and God starts revealing to you blessings that he's been doing that you did not even realize? My Lord, my God is so good. Unburying, okay, that unburying, seeing the reality of your spiritual um, side is, is a tough journey, okay? Um, all I want to say is stay strong in faith and remember that God is in the in the process of completing you, okay? And that promised land is where you will be complete in Christ. Amen. Um, in earth, we can be complete in Christ, but in eternity, we will rest, okay, with no temptations. You know, we still have free will, even though we're complete in Christ, even though we're in the promised land, we still have free will. So ideally, we still are rest. Um, we still have an opposition, okay? But in eternity, that is when we'll rest in heaven. Hallelujah. Thank God for this day, you guys. 
so yeah that i'm bearing that reality you guys it's gonna be pretty hard it's gonna be pretty tough i know that people from all different stages of the journey will come here and i'm just so thankful for every single one of you guys um don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you feel that to do so um you know sharing god's word um sharing the truth and you know blessing someone else with that helped you you know i had to see some pretty scary things about myself um in order to get to this point i had to face some very deep dark spots that i did not know that i had to be honest with you i guess that means that my camera cut off when the little white thing comes in the middle of it i don't know see this is the thing i was watching this prophetic word this was not in my video but this must be for someone but like god literally ziplined me i know nothing about technology like i'm not tech savvy whatsoever but here god gave me this camera you guys like i don't even know what i'm doing with it you will have the ability to enjoy wealth whoever's watching this this is for you you will have the ability to enjoy wealth but yes the ability to enjoy wealth amen so um yeah what i was saying was you know it's going to be very specific this video will be and it's just because my dancing with god episodes are just more informational okay so i just want to make sure i get every point across to you guys so i usually plan these videos out pretty well um all right so my resolution update my last video i talked about my resolution with you guys um and i think i said i was going to read five books um i said i was going to read my devotional every day i said that i was going to make a nice journal every day that was going to journal every day <laughs> however at this time definitely in the promised land god is showing you clearly your blessings like your pros and your cons are very clear okay so i think that's the main thing in your promised land is that you have spiritual clarity amen i ended up sticking only with my journal okay um with journaling every day and god has spoke to me that I will release a devotional with the help of my aunt she's gonna help me to publish it she's really good with all that type of stuff and i believe this will bless her as well spiritually so thankful for that and um but yeah so that is the thing that i've stuck to i do try to read when i can i do try to read my devotional when i can but um once again god provides our needs okay all of our needs not all of our wants you feel me so um i need to stay connected with god daily i need to um you know god knows what we need so when god tries to take something out don't be offended okay be thankful because he's trying to unclutter your life and give you less um make your burden lighter amen but one thing that i did add is i started to pray every morning well i try to every morning i may forget and end up doing like um I like the afternoon time but I began praying and um, making this my daily prayer that Lord um, thank you for waking me up thank you for a new day and I realized this morning uh, when I was saying like you know when I was noticing distractions and you know ways that I could veer off path like I said that um, temptation will still be there okay that option will still be there leave that alone please so um so i said but you know what god graced me with this day he didn't have to so i will live this day for the lord and when god told me you know i will youtube i will work today i said you know i'm just thankful that god has even given me work to do that god has even blessed me with this career so i started to pray every day and tried to make this my daily prayer lord help me to abide in your will completely or help me to follow your will completely today lord and help me to abide in your holy spirit completely and um that has really made all the difference i have to change this like this i was trying to have my hair down but it like it, it's never working i started praying that prayer every day and the way that god changed my life and allowed every day to be blessed is just miraculous so i really um encourage you guys to use that as your daily prayer or um you know or find a daily prayer that works for you amen so the next thing hold on baby but yes you guys so so many of us are like battling spiritual warfare and we don't even realize it 
like you don't realize it until you really um try to open your eyes so you can live blocked off but like it's still you know that's you're still not going to be fulfilled god is the only thing that can truly fulfill us my lord the holy spirit you know i that became one of my new resolutions in a way and um god kind of refined my resolution so i'm thankful for that thankful for you know i'm just thankful that god's allowing me to live for him because this truly is a blessing okay amen god's trying to free so many people from the legalistic spirit and um set you free and one thing god spoke to me was free life okay this was in the beginning of my spiritual um you know this was this was part of my spiritual journey i was you know in a really tough time and i'll go a lot deeper into this probably in like my book but I was in a really tough time and um, I saw in the sky it said free life and I was so confused because I didn't even know what that meant and now I like completely understand and I really appreciate the work that the Lord has been doing and he'll give you little signs of encouragement along the way and God is good his grace is sufficient that is one thing that you always should remember um you know when worry tries to pop up for you so the next thing I have on here is that god's voice versus the world's voice amen so i actually um i i'm gonna upset some people with this probably but it is it is nothing but the holy spirit and um the work that the lord has done in my life and blessed me so i hope to also help a lot of people with this you guys like i used to i feel like i used to kind of like worship the church my lord some of us may be in this predicament um, it does say in the Bible, you know, where two or more are gathered, um, that God will be as well. But we are reaching new heights, like I have mentioned this before. Um, we are reaching new heights of the Holy Spirit, okay? Walking in intimacy with the relationship with the Lord. And this is, you know, this is God's glory. And it is beautiful. And we should just flow with it like the wind. Amen? So, um... I realized though God even had me separate from the church from for some time and I feel like this is a this is a thing from like where I'm from I'm from Virginia and um I feel like the history has all kind of played a part in this and just like maybe it being like the Commonwealth or something I don't know but I was really like you know I really was very dependent on the church and I had to see that to become more dependent on the on God amen yeah I had to realize too that you know when something is of God and when something is of the world um when something is a worldly expectation and when something is God's expectation um the next thing okay so yeah God's voice versus the world's voice so a lot a lot a lot you guys I I was um you know the world has made their own form of godliness my god this is this is a big one this is for a lot of people the world has made a, a image of godliness okay and do not conform to the world do not think like and i feel like churches a lot will do this if you're not picture perfect you are not godly these are all lies from satan i don't care if it comes from a church I don't care if it comes from America. If it is not of God, it is of the world. Once again, this is all the spirit of legalism, my God. And um, I think our world is going through a shift from, you know, preparing for Jesus coming back, truly. And I've had these visions. And um, this is why we are called to be so intimate with the Lord now in these times. And, um, you know, just going through a shift of... I think the world is evolved enough to be in this intimate relationship with the Lord and we really have this need spiritually. We're realizing that the world cannot suffice our fulfillment. Um, so yes, living for your relationship with God. So yeah, I've realized that's basically what I just said, but I've um, really realized that even the church is not perfect. Amen. All right, it is all to God. I think so many people right now are being called, amen, for the Holy Spirit, for salvation, for calling upon the name of the Lord, for um, accepting Jesus as their Savior, for beginning their relationship with God. 
and um, my lord there are big things happening in the heavenly realms and the spiritual realms and I say the heavenly realms because it, it truly feels like the floodgates of heaven are open like and um I am saying this not from my own perspective not from small mind and it's not because I'm saying like my life is going so good right now I'm saying this because I see so many people opening their eyes spiritually and it's beautiful it's a great thing real quick I think I should just talk about you know why we need Jesus as our savior okay God is perfect there needs to be some payment in between there all right in order for us to even know um for us to know the Lord yeah you guys it seems that God um in the world right now is trying to cast out a lot of image a lot of worldliness a lot of um legalism a lot of traditions and um, I know this was happening in Jesus times, but I see it really coming to fruit now in these times. So that's why I believe that Jesus is coming back in this lifetime. Um, I believe we are like the last generation. I'm not very good at history and definitions and stuff, but it seems like, you know, these are really the end times. And um, I know some people don't believe in this, but I feel like that is just a way of being in denial and of denying the spiritual realm. So you know the sooner we wake up the better but um it is all in god's perfect timing but you know just when you feel that holy spirit tugging at you don't be afraid to um you know follow and the last thing that i wanted to touch on is that god is loving and he cares about our individualities so a lot here recently god has been speaking to me about our individual purposes everyone has god has a plan for everyone's life okay um no one is left out god knew all of us since the womb and no matter what powers are trying to rise up um we must not be afraid because our relationship with god will lead us through this all my god this you know i wasn't even planning to talk about this but the lord is putting something in my spirit about embracing our individualities so in order for you know the reason that i had such a huge sense of self was because i was raised to embrace that part of myself and um you know nobody is perfect no family is perfect but there is a way to raise your child to have a healthy emotional state a healthy mentally but yeah your spiritual freedom will arrive um before your physical for your, before your financial freedom arrives so the lord is doing a big work um in these spiritual realms in these times and god works on a much faster time than we work on so what we think um you know god can do god can heal years of heartbreak in a matter of an hour so never underestimate god and his plan for your life because it is indeed true um indeed possible as well god has been speaking to me a lot about our individual purposes and um I think a lot of people, you know, in these end times, it does say God gives us the warning in the Bible, but he also gives us the spiritual provision in real life, well, in our lives. I don't want to say real life because the Bible is real life. But, you know, in the Bible, it says we'll be lovers of self um, and abusers in the end times. But with this, you guys, comes that spiritual provision, and that's where the Holy Spirit comes in. That's why I believe the Holy Spirit, you know, pairs so well. And, you know, how can we count out the Holy Spirit? You know, guys, God was saying before this, I watched a prophetic word, and this girl on a fresh word, and she was saying how um, how there's a divide, bless you, in the church right now with the legalism and the, the spiritually free, amen, um, those that are following the Holy Spirit. So those that are still tied to the law. And, it, and, you know, God commands us in the Bible to be set free in Jesus and do not go back to being confined in the law. Yes, so through this, you know, through these struggles and through these times where people are being lovers of self, that means that we're also um, revealing and um, being, being shown our um, spiritual gifts and our individual gifts, our individual purposes, my God. So yes, there's issues, but God goes perfectly with our weaknesses, and that is one thing about it. And um, I love that, and I'm just, you know, so blessed and so grateful for that. You know, in these times, like, 
God is rising up his church. God is truly preparing his church for Jesus to come for his bride. And um, this is no joke. This is no the boy who cried wolf. This is true. I feel it in my spirit. And, um, you know, God is the most important thing to me in life. And, um, yeah, I would just like to say that. With a spiritual blessing comes a physical blessing. Do not be fooled. Praise God through the storm. My son just finds his way into everything, you know, like everything. How he got my camera charger, I don't know. Yeah, so, you know, I feel like in these times, you know, everyone is being revealed to their individualities, their individual purposes. And this is what is going to um, prepare the world for the coming of Christ, for um, his bride, the church. Amen. And, um, you know, each church, you know, they're taught to the Bible. I'm no Bible scholar, like I tell y'all. Um, I have not studied Revelations, but I know that I know that there's a preparation going on, um, and it's coming very close to its to the end time. So, you know, everyone, I just encourage everyone to follow your individual purpose and just pray to um, pray for the salvation of Jesus and just pray for the revealing of your individual purpose, your individual calling. And I feel like God is going to reveal this with a quickness, okay? Um, in these advanced times, in these technological times. So do not be afraid, you guys. And um, just go full force. Like I told a brother of mine this morning, just go full force into, um, you know, your calling with Jesus. And um, your healing, your spiritual promise, and your, you know, your purpose. Your promise and period, because it will be spiritual and physical as well. My God. Complete provision, complete revelation, complete, um, yeah, complete, just completeness. Without that, we can have nothing, nothing good, truly. So, um, yeah, I just, you know, I just encourage everyone to seek that. And I feel like this, this video will reach nations and, um, worlds, um, all across the world. Yeah, I encourage everyone to you know, seek your individual purpose. I'm so thankful for my calling, you guys. And you guys, that is how we stay close to the Lord is, be, is by being thankful for our calling. So, yes, God is loving. He cares about our individual purposes. Um, God calls you to be in this intimate relationship with him and to walk with him with no legalistic spirit, with, no, um, with nothing standing between you and God. So... I'm talking, wake up and see what God is putting in your spirit to do for the day. All right. And I want you to, you know, live constantly in the Lord's presence. <clears throat> and um, trust God constantly because God is above all of this entire existence. So he is the only right one to trust. Not even a to-do list can be trusted at this point. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And thank you for all of those that tuned in. I am going to go ahead and smoke one. And I'm going to try to get this vlog edited for you guys. Um, I have an amazing vlog that I did, but unfortunately I was not able to upload it off my phone. I have to recreate it on my MacBook, but I'm so thankful that I have it. And I'm excited for this journey with the MacBook. Um, I think it's going to be just mind-blowing, a blessing. Um, I pray that God is blinding you with his blessings, my Lord. And um, just know that his blessings are impeccable, okay? Like nothing we have seen or heard of before, my Lord. And, um... Yeah, I just thank you guys so much for watching, for supporting this channel. And just know that um, we love you so much. And um, yeah, I'm praying for you guys. And I am just so thankful. Um, I don't know. I don't really know exactly yet what God is doing with this video. But I am. I trust in the Lord. And I know that he's doing something great. So yeah, I don't know. I think this might be posted before the vlog. But I'm not sure yet. I think it will be. But I'm very excited for the vlog to be posted as well. That God has told me that's going to be really big and blessing you guys as well. Um, but I think this video will definitely be coming first. But I love you guys so, so much. And thank you for watching. And as always, stay blessed.